grew up here in San Diego. I grew up in the East County, El Cajon and La Mesa. From a young age, I wanted to be a lawyer, and most of all, want to be in the courtroom. When I thought about being a lawyer from the beginning, the only box I could think of it in was advocacy on behalf of someone or on behalf of a client and being in a courtroom, being in trial, and it's been that way to this day. When I worked for the Department of Justice, I got to do a number of high-profile, challenging trials. I worked for a section of the, of the Department of Justice called the Public Integrity Section, and our mandate and our mission was to handle cases in the field that the local U.S. Attorney's Office chose not to handle, and we often found resistance even from uh, people who were supposed to be helping us. Trying cases in that environment, and I tried them all over the country, was where I realized, I think, beyond any doubt, that I was in the right place doing the right thing, and that being in trial and those types of cases, tough cases, even high-profile cases, was something that I, I liked doing and, and could do. I came to Cooley in 2004. I was just really impressed by the culture at Cooley. Our litigation department can do it all all aspects of a complex civil and commercial litigation practice. And we're not lawyers who automatically will start guiding a case towards a settlement resolution if that's not appropriate. We are not afraid and often have taken cases, difficult cases, all the way to trial, reach jury verdicts, and produce some outstanding results for our clients. From the very beginning of a case, we have a culture here where we begin to think about our themes. We begin to think about how we would present this case to the jury. Now, the case may never get that far, but along the way, we're always thinking about what if the case goes to trial? How will we present it? What are our best themes? So we're thinking about that from the first moment the case hits our desk. The most important characteristics of a trial lawyer, you have to be true to yourself, and if you are, and if you know the facts, and you know your case, you can connect with a jury. That's the first thing. The second thing is being able to take a complex set of facts, distill those facts into a story. And then the third and final thing is going for the jugular. There's always a moment in every case. It might be cross-examination of a critical witness. It might be closing argument. It might be a back and forth with opposing counsel where opposing counsel has made a misrepresentation or uh, gone over the line. But when those moments come and they're there to take for the advantage of, of your side, for your client, fairly, you need to take them. Most of my favorite quotes come from Winston Churchill, but another quote that I like a great deal is, uh, if, if the only thing you have in your toolbox is a hammer, then you're going to think every problem is a nail. Sometimes we, we go at things in one direction and we don't see all the other paths that we might take. There's a tendency among young lawyers to want to be a bulldog all the time or want to be a hammer all the time. And especially in front of a jury, sometimes you're a lot better approaching things in a much more low-key way or a friendly way, even with a hostile witness. And you'll be amazed what you can achieve. There is a time to be a hammer, but you have to have a variety of tools to be a successful trial lawyer.